by taking a few moments to die on purpose to the rush of time while you're still living, you free yourself to have time for the present. By dying now in this way, you actually become more alive now. This is what stopping can do. There is nothing passive about it. And when you decide to go, it's a different kind of going because you stopped. The stopping actually makes the going more vivid, richer, more textured. It helps keep all the things we worry about and feel inadequate about in perspective. It gives us guidance. Try stopping, sitting down and becoming aware of your breathing once in a while throughout the day. It can be for five minutes or even five seconds. Let go into full acceptance of the present moment, including how you are feeling and what you perceive to be happening. Then, when you're ready to move, moving in the direction your heart tells you to go, mindfully and with resolution. Ordinarily, when we undertake something, it's only natural to expect a desirable outcome for our efforts. We want to see results, even if it's only a pleasant feeling. The sole exception I can think of is meditation. When we understand that this is it, it allows us to let go of the past and the future and wake up to what we are now in this moment. People usually don't get this right away. When we let go of wanting something else to happen in this moment, we are taking a profound step towards being able to encounter what is here now. If we hope to go anywhere or to develop ourselves in any way, we can only step from where we are standing. If we don't really know where we are standing, we may only go in circles for all our efforts and expectations. Wu Men said, If your mind isn't clouded by unnecessary things, this is the best season of your life. <laughs>